I'm a sergeant, I'm a mum, I'm a wife, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter. You know, I don't, I don't ever sit and think about my gender in the military. I decided to do the professional engineer training course, all sponsored by the army. I deal with the finances for the regiment, so I could be dealing with paying out monies for renting stuff. My life here is at the moment revolving around building refurbishment with my house refurb project. I use my standard learning credits uh, through the army to do a, a DIY plastering course. And my friend's coming tomorrow to help me strip some wood chip wallpaper. Flexible working has impacted my family massively. Our son, AJ, he's in boarding school. Services pay 90% of that school fee. It shows progression and it shows that things are evolving. Knowing that there were breastfeeding rooms that were being established on unit. Things like being able to wear my hair in a ponytail. Beards obviously being brought in for men. It's good to see these things happening, the conversations are taking place. Netball is the highlight of my army career. The armed forces make sports available to you by giving you the time off to do it. I've traveled so many different countries playing netball. Learning about other people's cultures is definitely one of the highlights as well. I've competed on army cycling teams for the last nine years now. As part of lockdown, the army cycling union set up a virtual race series and I started racing on, on a platform and got into it that way. I've learned how to ski, I've learned how to kite surf, I've climbed mountains and done a huge range of things that I certainly wouldn't have done in a normal nine to five day job. Having an understanding chain of command like that does help the families. You get so much and you give so much back. I love being in the army because it, it's, it's just, it's different. It's, it's, I don't think there's any other job that's like this. When my son's growing up, he can look at his mum and go, well, my mum did it.